All right, so today we have a package opening. Um, I'm gonna show this side of the box just so my address and the person who sent the address won't be uh, revealed. Um, but yeah, so this inside should be a Slivers deck. Um, I got it for a great deal. So I'm just gonna unbox it and show you guys what's inside. Oh damn, it's packaging. Awesome. Um, it should be everything inside the Dragon Shield box, I'm assuming. There's like a bunch of all these bags in here. Um, but yeah, so let's see what it is that we have in here. Um, we have a Sliver Overlord. I'm just gonna zoom in a little more. So, we have a Sliver Overlord in here, um, and next card, Sliver Hive Lord, Training Grounds, Gem Hide Sliver, all Slivers have add one mana um, of any color to your mana pool if you tap it. Um, there's Sliver Hive, essential obviously, Sliver Hive. Metallic Sliver, um, I might remove this just because it's a vanilla sliver. I don't really care for vanilla. Um, this one gives all of them flying. Essence sliver, when a sliver deals damage, his controller gains that much life, so pretty much it helps me just gain some life back in case if I'm in a tough situation. Um, broad sliver, whenever a sliver deals combat damage to a player, his controller may put a 1-1 colorless sliver creature token into battlefield into play. Um, so this just creates a bunch of tokens for me. Um, and it'll be off from if I can combo off. And uh, just have uh, slivers have haste. So then that way every time one comes on I'll attack and I'll just create an infinite amount of silver tokens. And also infinite damage. Harmonic slivers. All slivers have when this creature comes into play. Destroy target artifact or enchantment. Awesome. Um, plus one plus one. Beautiful. Um, silver creatures I control have a double strike will come in handy. Can't be countered and slivers can't be countered. Amazing. All slivers have sacrificed this creature, you gain three life. I don't know if I'm gonna keep this in. Um, it'll help in times when I'm gonna type pinch, but I don't necessarily like sacrificing my own slivers. Um, life link again. Okay. Flanking. So what flanking is is whenever a creature without flanking blocks a sliver, the blocking creature gets minus one, minus one till end of turn. Trample, amazing. Flying, amazing. Ooh, it's a M14 promo. Slivers I get have plus three, plus three. Plus one, plus one. Another tap to produce mana. Countered. Can't be blocked. Ooh. That's actually pretty awesome. Um, it's my first time just kind of going over Slivers deck. I never really looked into it, but this should be good for EDH if I add some other stuff and just tweak with this deck a little. Have Absorb 1. Huh, that's cool. Tap to deal 1 damage to target attacking or blocking creature. Regenerate target sliver. All slivers have um, pay one. This creature's type becomes a creature type of your choice in addition to its other types until end of turn. So technically, you get change its type. Um, first strike. First strike again. Plus one, plus one. Are colorless. I'm not sure what this would do, but. I'll figure it out. Um, I guess this is just to change its type in case if you have other things other than uh, Sliver. I'm probably going to take this out. Um, slivers have Vigilance. Ooh, awesome. Whenever a Sliver I control attacks, defending player loses one life. 
For this one, all slayers have whatever this creature becomes a target of a spell of opponent controls. I can draw a card. All slayer creatures have frenzy. What the frenzy? Oh, if it's not blocked, it gets plus one, plus zero. So it just helps me deal one extra damage in. Ooh, this one's pretty much haste. All silvers are unaffected by summoning sickness. Beautiful. All silvers have this creature can't be blocked except by two or more creatures. Silvers I control have when this creature enters a battlefield, you may exile target creature and opponent controls until this creature leaves a battlefield. Oh wow, that's awesome. This is perfect for um so many just decks that I go against because I have a competitive um meta around me. Sorry, I'm kind of sniffly because of allergies. And whenever I play Silver, another like permanent, I believe. Oh no, just a creature. Um, so if let's say I'm going against like a ten tank creature. Or an Eldrazi with Annihilator, I can exile it, which will help me a lot. Um, just so I don't have to deal with that. Um, this one allows my Slurus to not be blocked except by two or more creatures. And another Haste Maker, awesome. Um, whenever it deals damage, put a plus one, plus one counter out. Wow, that's pretty cool. All Slurus have target, Silver gets... Plus XO until end of turn where X is the number of slivers in play. So if I have like 50, it gets plus 50 oh. Beautiful. A bunch of one hitters. All slivers get plus 1 0. This is the opposite. Plus 0 1. All slivers I control of Death Touch. Cool. All slivers have poisonous. And I believe it's the same thing as Infect, which is wonderful because all I need is 11 infect damage per player so if I can get this out that'd be awesome maybe tutor for it all slivers have target player puts a top card of his or her library into his or her graveyard so mill one each sliver card in each player's hand has silver cycling or sliver cycling oh so I can discard it and search for a sliver Reveal it and put it into my hand. Cool, cool. If any sliver is blocked, it gets plus one, plus one until end of turn for each sliver blocking it. Whenever a sliver, uh, yeah, creature I control becomes a target of a spell or ability that opponent controls. Or, yeah, counter that spell unless if it's controller pays two, which is like something in between a daze and a mana leak, I guess. Not as great in EDH, but for the times where the opponent does have to tap out for it, it's worth it, I guess. Um, you may pay play Quicksilver anytime you can play an instant, so it has Flash. And any player may play Silver cards at any time. Oh, so this is just Flash to the max for every Silver. Wow. Oh, and this is some um, Silver tokens that the guy threw in. I'm not really sure where these are from. Maybe I can figure it out, or maybe they're just printed. I don't know. Well, there's more slivers in here. Regenerate. They're from card jigs. No idea where that's from. So if you know, write it down in the comment below. Just kind of wondering if the rest of these have a random card behind it too, like that one did. Because that was kind of random. Not that these need to have the card backings to it. So, I guess he just kind of threw one together in the same sleeve. Cool. So, that is it for um, this unboxing for today. Um, this was also kind of a sliver deck tech that I have, but I might change it up eventually. So, yeah. Cool. Thank you for watching. Um, please like and subscribe, and if you have any other things that you would like me to do, please let me know. Um, I will try to get as much money as I can to do maybe unboxings in the features for fat packs, pre-release packs, or booster boxes if you guys would be interested in those. Um, but yeah, that will definitely have to depend on my financial situation at the current time. But I'm pretty excited for the next upcoming set of Kaladesh, so yeah.
Thank you very much.